The Common Security and Defence Policy (CSDP) is the European Union's (EU) course of action in the fields of defence and crisis management and a main component of the EU's Common Foreign and Security Policy (CFSP). The implementation of the CSDP involves the deployment of military or civilian missions for peacekeeping, conflict prevention and strengthening international security in accordance with the principles of the United Nations Charter. Military missions are carried out by EU forces established with contributions from the member states' armed forces. The CSDP also entails collective self-defense amongst member states as well as a permanent structured cooperation in which 25 of the 28 national armed forces pursue structural integration. The Union's High Representative HR, VP, currently Federica Mogherini, is responsible for proposing and implementing CSDP decisions. Such decisions are adopted by the Foreign Affairs Council FAC, generally requiring unanimity. The CSDP structure, headed by the HR, VP, comprise relevant sections of the External Action Service EEAS, including the military staff EUMS with its operational headquarters MPCC, a number of fact preparatory bodies such as the military committee EUMC as well as four agencies including the defense agency EDA the CSDP structure is sometimes referred to as the European Defence Union EDU especially in relation to its prospective development as the EU's defence arm History The post-war period saw several short-lived or ill-fated initiatives for European defence integration intended to protect against potential Soviet or German aggression. The Western Union and the proposed European Defence Community were respectively cannibalised by the North Atlantic Treaty Organisation (NATO) and rejected by the French Parliament. The largely dormant Western European Union WEU succeeded the Western Union's remainder in 1954. In 1970 the European Political Cooperation EPC brought about the European Communities EC initial foreign policy coordination. Opposition to the addition of security and defence matters to the EPC led to the reactivation of the WEU in 1984 by its member states, which were also EC member states. European defence integration gained momentum soon after the end of the Cold War, partly as a result of the EC's failure to prevent the Yugoslav Wars. In 1992, the WEU was given new tasks, and the following year the Treaty of Maastricht founded the EU and replaced the EPC with the Common Foreign and Security Policy CFSP pillar. In 1996 NATO agreed to let the WEU develop a so-called European Security and Defence Identity The 1998 St. Malo Declaration signalled that the traditionally hesitant United Kingdom was prepared to provide the EU with autonomous defence structures. This facilitated the transformation of the ESDI into the European Security and Defence Policy in 1999, when it was transferred to the EU. In 2003 the EU deployed its first CSDP missions, and adopted the European Security Strategy identifying common threats and objectives. In 2009, the Treaty of Lisbon introduced the present name, CSDP, while establishing the EEAS, the Mutual Defence Clause and enabling a subset of member states to pursue defence integration within PESCO. In 2011 the WEU, whose tasks had been transferred to the EU, was dissolved. In 2016 a new security strategy was introduced, which along with the Russian annexation of Crimea, the scheduled British withdrawal from the EU and the election of Trump as US President have given the CSDP a new impetus. <laughs> <laughs> Deployments The first deployment of European troops under the ESDP, following the 1999 Declaration of Intent, was in March 2003 in the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia FYROM, today, North Macedonia. Operation Concordia used NATO assets and was considered a success and replaced by a smaller police mission, EUPOL Proxima, later that year. Since then, there have been other small police, justice and monitoring missions. 
as well as in the FYROM, the EU has maintained its deployment of peacekeepers in Bosnia and Herzegovina. As part of Operation Althea, between May and September 2003, EU troops were deployed to the Democratic Republic of the Congo (DRC) during Operation Artemis. Under a mandate given by UN Security Council Resolution 1484 which aimed to prevent further atrocities and violence in the Aturi conflict and put the DRC's peace process back on track. This laid out the ''Framework Nation'' system to be used in future deployments. The EU returned to the DRC during July to November 2006 with EUFOR Road Congo, which supported the UN mission there during the country's elections. Geographically, EU missions outside the Balkans and the DRC have taken place in Georgia, Indonesia, Sudan, Palestine, and Ukraine-Moldova. There is also a judicial mission in Iraq EU -JUST -LEX. On 28 January 2008, the EU deployed its largest and most multinational mission to Africa, EUFORT Chad, RCA. The UN mandated mission involves troops from 25 EU states 19 in the field deployed in areas of eastern Chad and the northeastern Central African Republic in order to improve security in those regions. EUFORT Chad RCA reached full operation capability in mid September 2008 and handed over security duties to the UN MINURCAT mission in mid March 2009. The EU launched its first maritime CSDP operation on the 12th of December 2008, Operation Atalanta. The concept of the European Union Naval Force was created on the back of this operation, which is still successfully combating piracy off the coast of Somalia almost a decade later. A second such intervention was launched in 2015 to tackle migration problems in the southern Mediterranean EUNAVFOR -MED, working under the name Operation Sophia. Most of the CSDP missions deployed so far are mandated to support security sector reforms SSR in host states. One of the core principles of CSDP support to SSR is local ownership. The EU Council defines ownership as the appropriation by the local authorities of the commonly agreed objectives and principles. Despite EU's strong rhetorical attachment to the local ownership principle, research shows that CSDP missions continue to be an externally driven, top-down and supply-driven endeavor, resulting often in the low degree of local participation. <laughs> <laughs> Structure The CSDP is a part of the Common Foreign and Security Policy CFSP, based on Articles 42-46 of the Treaty on European Union TEU. Article 42.2 of TEU states that the CSDP includes the progressive framing of a common union defence policy, and will lead to a common defence, when the European Council of National Heads of State or Government, acting unanimously, so decides. Topic. Crisis management procedure Military operations may be launched after four planning phases, through which the operation commander op. CDR, military staff EUMS, military committee EUMC, political and security committee PSC, and council have different roles I. Political framework for crisis approach PFCA, 2. Crisis Management Concept CMC. 3. Military Strategic Options MCO, unless within CMC and Initiating Military Directive IMD. IV. Concept of Operations CONOPS, Operations Plan OPLAN, and Rules of Engagement RO. All civilian missions are directed by the Civilian Planning and Conduct Capability CPCC, a directorate of the External Action Service EEAS, in Brussels, Belgium. For each military mission, also referred to as Operation, the Council nominates the Operational Headquarters OHQ that will run the operation at strategic level and direct the Subordinate Force Headquarters FHQ, which carries out the operation on the ground. There are three main options for OHQ. 
Military Planning and Conduct Capability MPCC of the EAS Military Staff EUMS in Brussels, Belgium, which may presently run only non-executive operations. By the end of 2020 the MPCC will also be capable of running executive operations of up to 2,500 troops i.e. the size of one battle group. Allied Command Operations ACO of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO. ACO's main headquarters is the Supreme Headquarters Allied Powers Europe shape in Mons, Belgium. This use of NATO assets by the EU, provided by the Berlin Plus Agreement, is subject to a right of first refusal, i.e. NATO must first decline to intervene in a given crisis, and contingent on unanimous approval among NATO states, including those outside of the EU. For example, Turkish reservations about Operation Concordia using NATO assets delayed its deployment by more than five months. National Parent Headquarters made available by Member States, Centre for Planning and Conduct of Operations CPCO in Paris, France Armed Forces Operational Command in Potsdam, Germany Hellenic European Union Operational Headquarters in Larissa, Greece Italian Joint Force Headquarters in Centercell, Rome, Italy Multinational Headquarters MNHQ at Northwood Headquarters in London, United Kingdom Naval Station Rota, NAVSTA Rota in Rota, Spain An additional theoretical option for military operations is to activate a European Union Operations Center EUOPCEN, a non-standing, ad hoc headquarters. The OPCEN was active between 2012 and 2016, and its structures will be integrated into the MPCC in 2020. Prior to the creation of the MPCC, the local mission headquarters would be established in the country in which training missions EUTM took place. The CSDP command structure involving the High Representative, the Military Staff and Military Committee as of 1 November 2017, Color Key, High Representative, a Vice President of the Commission, Military Committee, a Council Body, Military Staff, a Directorate General of the External Action Service. Topic: <laughs> Bodies and Leadership. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> High Representative. The High Representative of the Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, commonly referred to as the High Representative HR, VP, is the Chief Coordinator and Representative of the EU's Common Foreign and Security Policy CFSP, including the CSDP. The position is currently held by Federica Mogherini. Where foreign matters is agreed between EU member states, the High Representative can speak for the EU in that area, such as negotiating on behalf of the member states. Beside representing the EU at international fora and coordinating the CFSP and the CSDP, the HR, VP is ex officio Vice President of the European Commission Participant in the meetings of the European Council Responsible of the European Union Special Representatives Head of the External Action Service and the Delegations President of the Foreign Affairs Council Head of the European Defence Agency Chairperson of the Board of the European Union Institute for Security Studies External Action Service The European External Action Service EEAS is the diplomatic service and foreign and defence ministry of the EU. The EEAS is led by the HR, VP and seated in Brussels. The EEAS does not propose or implement policy in its own name, but prepares acts to be adopted by the HR, VP, the European Commission or the Council. The EAS is also in charge of EU diplomatic missions, delegations, and intelligence and crisis management structures. The following EAS bodies take part in managing the CSDP 
The Military Staff is an EEAS Directorate General that provides strategic advice to the HR, VP and commands military operations through its Military Planning and Conduct Capability operational headquarters. The EUMS also reports to the European Union Military Committee EUMC, representing member states' chiefs of defence, and performs early warning, situation assessment and strategic planning. The EUMS currently consists of 200-plus military and civilian personnel. The EUMS and the European Defence Agency EDA, together form the Secretariat of the Permanent Structured Cooperation PESCO, the structural integration pursued by 25 of the 28 national armed forces of the EU since 2017. The Intelligence and Situation Center EUINTCEN. The Security and Defense College ESDC, is a virtual institution for strategic level training. The ESDC consists of a network of various national institutions, such as Defense Colleges, and the European Union Institute for Security Studies. The ESDC initiated the European Initiative for the Exchange of Young Officers inspired by Erasmus, often referred to as Military Erasmus, exchanging between armed forces of future military officers as well as their teachers and instructors during their initial education and training. Due to the fact that the initiative is implemented by the member states on a purely voluntary basis, their autonomy with regard to military training is not compromised. The Crisis Management and Planning Directorate CMPD. The Civilian Planning and Conduct Capability CPCC. Topic. Council Preparatory Bodies The Council of the European Union has the following, Brussels-based preparatory bodies in the field of CSDP the Political and Security Committee PSC, consists of ambassadorial-level representatives from the EU member states and usually meets twice per week. The PSC is chaired by the External Action Service. Ambassador Walter Stevens has been the PSC permanent chair since June 2013. The main functions of the PSC are keeping track of the international situation, and helping to define EU policies within the CFSP and CSDP. PSC sends guidance to, and receives advice from the European Union Military Committee EUMC, the Committee for Civilian Aspects of Crisis Management CIVCOM, as well as the European Union Institute for Security Studies. It is also a forum for dialogue on CSDP matters between the EU member states. PSC also drafts opinions for the Foreign Affairs Council, which is one of the configurations of the Council of the European Union. CFSP matters are passed to the Foreign Affairs Council via CORE-PER2. The European Union Military Committee EUMC is composed of member states' chiefs of defence CHOD. These national CHODs are regularly represented in the EUMC in Brussels by their permanent military representatives MILREP, who often are two or three star flag officers. The EUMC is under the under-authority of the EU's High Representative HR and the Political and Security Committee PSC. The EUMC gives military advice to the EU's High Representative HR and Political and Security Committee PSC. The EUMC also oversees the European Union Military Staff EUMS. The Committee for Civilian Aspects of Crisis Management CIVCOM, is an advisory body dealing with civilian aspects of crisis management. The activities of CIVCOM therefore forms part of the Common Foreign and Security Policy CFSP, of EU, and the civilian side of the Common Security and Defense Policy CSDP. CIVCOM is composed of representatives of the EU member states. The activities of CIVCOM for civilian CSDP tasks occur in parallel to the European Union Military Committee EUMC for military CDP tasks. Both EUMC and CIVCOM receive directions from, and report to the Political and Security Committee PSC. The decision to establish CIVCOM was taken in 2000 by the Council of the European Union. The Politico-Military Group PMG, carries out preparatory work for the Political and Security Committee PSC. 
it covers the political aspects of EU military and civil military issues, including concepts, capabilities and operations and missions. The tasks of the PMG include, 1 preparing council conclusions and provides recommendations for the PSC, and monitoring their effective implementation 2 contributing to the development of horizontal policy and facilitating information exchanges. The PMG has a particular responsibility regarding partnerships with non-EU countries and other organizations, including EU-NATO relations, as well as exercises. The PMG is chaired by a representative of the HR, VP. <inaudible> <inaudible> agencies The following agencies relate to the CSDP. The Defence Agency, EDA, based in Brussels, facilitates the improvement of national military capabilities and integration. In that capacity, it makes proposals, coordinates, stimulates collaboration, and runs projects. The Border and Coast Guard Agency, Frontex, based in Warsaw, Poland, leads the European Coast Guard that controls the borders of the Schengen area. The Institute for Security Studies, ISS, based in Paris, is an autonomous think tank that researches EU-relevant security issues. The research results are published in papers, books, reports, policy briefs, analyses and newsletters. In addition, the Institute convenes seminars and conferences on relevant issues that bring together EU officials, national experts, decision-makers and NGO representatives from all member states. The Satellite Center, SATSEN, located in Torrejón de Ardoz, Spain, supports the decision-making by providing products and services resulting from the exploitation of relevant space assets and collateral data, including satellite and aerial imagery, and related services. Topic. Permanent Structured Cooperation the Permanent Structured Cooperation PESCO, is the framework in which 25 of the 28 national armed forces pursue structural integration. Based on Article 42.6 and Protocol 10 of the Treaty on European Union, introduced by the Treaty of Lisbon in 2009, PESCO was first initiated in 2017. The initial integration within the PESCO format is a number of projects planned to launch in 2018. PESCO is similar to enhanced cooperation in other policy areas, in the sense that integration does not require that all EU member states participate. <laughs> Strategy The European Union Global Strategy EUGS, is the updated doctrine of the EU to improve the effectiveness of the CSDP, including the defence and security of the member states, the protection of civilians, cooperation between the member states' armed forces, management of immigration, crises etc. Adopted on 28 June 2016, it replaces the European Security Strategy of 2003. The EUGS is complemented by a document titled Implementation Plan on Security and Defense, IPSD. Topic Forces. Topic National. The CSDP is implemented using civilian and military contributions from member states' armed forces, which also are obliged to collective self-defense based on Treaty on European Union TEU. Six EU states host nuclear weapons, France and the United Kingdom each have their own nuclear programs, while Belgium, Germany, Italy and the Netherlands host US nuclear weapons as part of NATO's nuclear sharing policy. Combined, the EU possesses 525 warheads, and hosts between 90 and 130 US warheads. Italy hosts 70-90 B61 nuclear bombs, while Germany, Belgium, and the Netherlands 10-20 each one. The EU has the third largest arsenal of nuclear weapons, after the United States and Russia. Topic expenditure and personnel The following table presents the military expenditures of the members of the European Union in euros Euro. 
the combined military expenditure of the member states amounts to just over is 192.5 billion euros. This represents 1.55% of European Union GDP and is second only to the 503 billion euros military expenditure of the United States. The US figure represents 4.66% of United States GDP. European military expenditure includes spending on joint projects such as the Eurofighter Typhoon and joint procurement of equipment. The European Union's combined active military forces in 2011 totaled 1,551,038 personnel. According to the European Defence Agency, the European Union had an average of 53,744 land force personnel deployed around the world or 3.5% of the total military personnel. In a major operation the EU could readily deploy up to 425,824 land force personnel and sustain 110,814 of those during an enduring operation. In comparison, the U.S. had on average 177,700 troops deployed in 2011. This represents 12.5% of U.S. military personnel. In a speech in 2012, Swedish General Hakan Sirane criticized the spending levels of European Union countries, saying that in the future those countries' military capability will decrease, creating critical shortfalls. Guide to table. All figure entries in the table below are provided by the European Defence Agency for the year 2012. Figures from other sources are not included. The operations and maintenance expenditure category may in some circumstances also include finances on top of the nation's defense budget. The categories troops prepared for deployed operations and troops prepared for deployed and sustained operation only include land force personnel. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Naval forces. The combined component strength of the naval forces of member states is some 564 commissioned warships. Of those in service, five are fleet carriers, the largest of which is the 70,600-ton Queen Elizabeth class. The EU also has five amphibious assault ships and 25 amphibious support ships in service. Of the EU's 60 submarines, 21 are nuclear-powered submarines 11 British and 10 French while 39 are conventional attack submarines. Operation Atalanta formerly European Union Naval Force Somalia is the first ever and still ongoing naval operation of the European Union. It is part of a larger global action by the EU in the Horn of Africa to deal with the Somali crisis. As of January 2011, 23 EU nations participate in the operation. France, Italy and United Kingdom have blue water navies, guide to table, ceremonial vessels, research vessels, supply vessels, training vessels, and icebreakers are not included. The table only counts warships that are commissioned or equivalent and active. Surface vessels displacing less than 200 tons are not included, regardless of other characteristics. The amphibious support ship category includes amphibious transport docks and dock landing ships, and tank landing ships. Frigates over 6,000 tons are classified as destroyers. The patrol vessel category includes missile boats. The anti mine ship Category includes mine countermeasures vessels, minesweepers and minehunters. Generally, total tonnage of ships is more important than total number of ships, as it gives a better indication of capability. <laughs> <laughs> Land forces Combined, the member states of the European Union maintain large numbers of various land-based military vehicles and weaponry. Guide to table The table is not exhaustive and primarily includes vehicles and EU NATO member countries under the Conventional Armed Forces in Europe Treaty, CFE Treaty. Unless otherwise specified. The CFE Treaty only includes vehicles stationed within Europe, vehicles overseas on operations are not counted. The main battle tank 
Category also includes tank destroyers such as the Italian B-1 Centauro or any self-propelled armored fighting vehicle, capable of heavy firepower. According to the CFE Treaty, the armored fighting vehicle Category includes any armored vehicle primarily designed to transport infantry and equipped with an automatic cannon of at least 20 mm caliber. According to the CFE Treaty, the artillery category includes self propelled or towed howitzers and mortars of 100 mm caliber and above. Other types of artillery are not included regardless of characteristics. According to the CFE Treaty, the Attack helicopter category includes any rotary wing aircraft armed and equipped to engage targets or equipped to perform other military functions such as the Apache or the Wildcat. According to the CFE Treaty, the military logistics vehicle category includes logistics trucks of 4 ton, 8 ton, 14 ton or larger, purposely designed for military tasking. Not under CFE Treaty. Topic. Air Forces The Air Forces of EU member states operate a wide range of military systems and hardware. This is primarily due to the independent requirements of each member state and also the national defence industries of some member states. However such programs like the Eurofighter Typhoon and Eurocopter Tiger have seen many European nations design, build and operate a single weapons platform. 60% of overall combat fleet was developed and manufactured by member states, 32% are U.S. origin, but some of these were assembled in Europe, while remaining 8% are Soviet-made aircraft. As of 2014, it is estimated that the European Union had around 2,000 serviceable combat aircraft, fighter aircraft and ground attack aircraft. The EU's airlift capabilities are evolving with the future introduction of the Airbus A400M, another example of EU defence cooperation. The A400M is a tactical airlifter with strategic capabilities. Around 140 are initially expected to be operated by six member states UK, Luxembourg, France, Germany, Spain and Belgium. Guide to tables The tables are sourced from figures provided by Flight International for the year 2014. Aircraft are grouped into three main types indicated by colors, red for combat aircraft, green for aerial refueling aircraft, and gray for strategic and tactical transport aircraft. The two other columns include additional aircraft according to the type sorted by color i.e. the other category in red includes combat aircraft, while the other category in gray includes both aerial refueling and transport aircraft. This was done because it was not feasible allocate every aircraft type its own column. Other aircraft such as trainers, helicopters, UAVs and reconnaissance or surveillance aircraft are not included in the below tables or figures. Fighter and ground attack aerial refueling and transport. Topic: Multinational. Topic: Established at union level. The Helsinki Headline Goal Catalog is a listing of rapid reaction forces composed of 60,000 troops managed by the European Union, but under control of the countries who deliver troops for it. Forces introduced at Union level include The Battle Groups BG adhere to the CSDP, and are based on contributions from a coalition of member states. Each of the 18 battlegroups consists of a battalion-sized force 1,500 troops reinforced with combat support elements. The groups rotate actively, so that two are ready for deployment at all times. The forces are under the direct control of the Council of the European Union. The battlegroups reached full operational capacity on 1 January 2007, although, as of January 2013 they are yet to see any military action. They are based on existing ad hoc missions that the European Union EU has undertaken and has been described by some as a new standing army for Europe. The troops and equipment are drawn from the EU member states under a lead nation 
In 2004, United Nations Secretary General Kofi Annan welcomed the plans and emphasized the value and importance of the battlegroups in helping the UN deal with trouble spots. The Medical Command EMC is a planned medical command center in support of EU missions, formed as part of the Permanent Structured Cooperation PESCO. The EMC will provide the EU with a permanent medical capability to support operations abroad, including medical resources and a rapidly deployable medical task force. The EMC will also provide medical evacuation facilities, triage and resuscitation, treatment and holding of patients until they can be returned to duty, and emergency dental treatment. It will also contribute to harmonizing medical standards, certification and legal civil framework conditions. The Force Crisis Response Operation Corps is a flagship defense project under development as part of Permanent Structured Cooperation EUR-FOR CROC will contribute to the creation of a full-spectrum force package to speed up provision of military forces and the EU's crisis management capabilities. Rather than creating a standing force, the project involves creating a concrete catalog of military force elements that would speed up the establishment of a force when the EU decides to launch an operation. It is land-focused and aims to generate a force of 60,000 troops from the contributing states alone. While it does not establish any form of European Army, it foresees an deployable, interoperable force under a single command. Germany is the lead country for the project, but the French are heavily involved and it is tied to President Emmanuel Macron's proposal to create a standing intervention force. The French see it as an example of what PESCO is about. Topic. Provided through Article 42.3 TEU This section presents an incomplete list of forces and bodies established intergovernmentally amongst a subset of member states. These organizations will deploy forces based on the collective agreement of their member states. They are typically technically listed as being able to be deployed under the auspices of NATO, the United Nations, the European Union EU, through Article 42.3 of TEU, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, or any other international entity. However, with the exception of the Eurocorps, very few have actually been deployed for any real military operation, and none under the CSDP at any point in its history. Land forces. The Eurocorps is an army corps of approximately 1,000 soldiers stationed in Strasbourg, France. Based in the French city of Strasbourg, the corps is the nucleus of the Franco-German Brigade. The I-German-Dutch Corps is a multinational formation consisting of units from the Dutch and German armies. Due to its role as a NATO High Readiness Forces headquarters, soldiers from other NATO member states, the United States, Denmark, Norway, Spain, Italy, the United Kingdom amongst others, are also stationed at Munster. The Multinational Corps Northeast, a Danish-German-Polish multinational corps. The European Gendarmerie Force, an intervention force with militarized police functions which specializes in crisis management. Aerial. The European Air Transport Command exercises operational control of the majority of the aerial refueling capabilities and military transport fleets of its participating nations. Located at Eindhoven Air Base in the Netherlands, the command also bears a limited responsibility for exercises, aircrew training and the harmonization of relevant national air transport regulations. The command was established in 2010 to provide a more efficient management of the participating nation's assets and resources in this field. Naval The European Maritime Force is a non standing, military force that may carry out naval, air, and amphibious operations, with an activation time of five days after an order is received. The force was formed in 1995 to fulfill missions defined in the Petersburg Declaration, such as sea control, humanitarian missions, peacekeeping operations, crisis response operations, and peace enforcement. Equipment <inaudible> 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 
EU developed infrastructure for military use includes European Secure Software Defined Radio Galileo Satellite Navigation Topic Defence Fund The European Defence Fund is an EU-managed fund for coordinating and increasing national investment in defence research and improve interoperability between national forces. It was proposed in 2016 by President Jean-Claude Juncker and established in 2017 to a value of €5.5 billion Euros per year. The fund has two stands, research 90 million euros until the end of 2019 and 500 million euros per year after 2020 and development and acquisition 500 million euros in total for 2019-20 then 1 billion euros per year after 2020, together with the coordinated annual review on defence and permanent structured cooperation it forms a new comprehensive defence package for the EU. Topic. Participation, relationship with NATO Out of the 28 EU member states, 22 are also members of NATO. Another three NATO members are EU applicants — Albania, Montenegro and Turkey. Two others — Iceland and Norway — have opted to remain outside of the EU, however participate in the EU's single market. The memberships of the EU and NATO are distinct, and some EU member states are traditionally neutral on defence issues. Several EU member states were formerly members of the Warsaw Pact. Denmark has an opt-out from the CSDP. The Berlin Plus Agreement is the short title of a comprehensive package of agreements made between NATO and the EU on 16 December 2002. These agreements were based on conclusions of NATO's 1999 Washington Summit, sometimes referred to as the CJTF mechanism, and allowed the EU to draw on some of NATO's military assets in its own peacekeeping operations. See also European Union as an emerging superpower European countries by military expenditure as a percentage of government expenditure Neutral country hashtag European Union Other defence-related EU initiatives Military mobility PESCO, European Centre of Excellence for Countering Hybrid Threats hybrid co, an EU-supported intergovernmental think tank Other pan-European defence organisations intergovernmental Organization for Joint Armament Cooperation OCCAR. Finabel, an organization, controlled by the Army Chiefs of Staff of its participating nations, that promotes cooperation and interoperability between the armies. Organization for Joint Armament Cooperation OCCAR, an organization that facilitates and manages collaborative armament programs through their life cycle between its participating nations. European Air Group, EAG, an organization that promotes cooperation and interoperability between the air forces of its participating nations. European Organization of Military Associations EUROMIL. European Personnel Recovery Center EPRC, an organization that contributes to the development and harmonization of policies and standards related to personnel recovery. European Intervention Initiative Regional, Intergovernmental Defence Organisations in Europe Nordic Defence Cooperation NORDEFCO, Central European Defence Cooperation CEDC, Atlanticist Intergovernmental Defence Organisations North Atlantic Treaty Organisation NATO, Movement Coordination Centre Europe MCCE, an organization aiming to coordinate the use of airlift, sealift and land movement assets owned or leased by participating nations. <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs> <laughs>